but it kind of tells the story of video games. So not just the history of the games, but also how games are made and what goes into making them, the sound, the technology, uh, maybe even a little bit about where games are going to end up going in the future. It's a trip down memory lane in some ways because, you know, the, the games that you would see when you were 9 or 10 or 12, it's a lot of those games are here. Uh, but then there's also some newer games too that I'm able to uh, recognize that I played with my own kids. Some of those games are represented by artifacts or stories or cutscenes. Uh, and then 17 of those games are actually full on playable games. What it's aiming to do is sort of is show both the evolution of technology, how it impacts uh, society and our culture. Um, and then again, sort of hopefully to be fun and have a, have a way to explore those games, but also to sort of say like, hey, this is, you know, this is where gaming is going. I think one of the stories that it tells is just sort of about this sort of constant evolution. There is one of the exhibits is a, on NHL, the, the, the NHL hockey game. And it shows like all the way back from when it started, what those graphics look like to sort of what they look like today. It is an example of that games are actually more than just something fun to do, that they there is real science and real technology involved in them. And oftentimes there is real cultural impact um, and that they can be helpful even, you know, as we deal with like mental health issues um, and, and, enter and entertainment as well at the same time.